The reality of urban life includes having to purchase your food from shops rather than farming your own. Chemical analysts do tests in laboratories to ensure that this food is safe for human consumption. They also test the air, water and soil in our environment to protect us from toxins and pollution. Andre Munion started at the CSIR as a chemical analyst. These days, he's the national manager of the CSIR laboratories that offer chemical and analytical services to test food, beverages, water, air, as well as workplace and environmental dust. I started at the CSR in 1997 as a chemical analyst and now I manage labs at the CSR. A chemical analyst conducts routine analysis in a chemistry lab on different types of matrices such as food, um, water, fish and sediment and oil samples. Our food and beverage lab in Cape Town was the first lab to be accredited for the food label um, and glycemic carbohydrates which you find on the label of every food packet that you buy in the shops. We also have a biotoxin lab in Cape Town that was the first lab in Africa to be accredited for biotoxin analysis that measures the toxins in, sh in shellfish. And we have labs in Pretoria, Durban and Cape Town that test for the quality of water, drinking water uh, standard. The CSR uh, formed this analytical platform to ensure the well-being of our people. At the CSR, the chemical analyst plays a pivotal role in making sure that our consumer is safe, ensuring that all our products, food, water and air, comply to the legislation that governs land. There are certain tests that need to be performed uh, and the chemical analyst is responsible for these tests. A good example like of this would be your mercury, cadmium and lead in water, food and air. The chemical analyst performs a very important part of the chain of events that leads to a SANAS accredited certificate of analysis that compiled, complies to legislation. The work is routine based, however requires a high level of precision and accuracy and ethics plays a major role in ensuring that the result obtained is as accurate as possible. In order to become a chemical analyst, it's important that you study your science subjects at school, preferably at higher grade, looking at mathematics, general chemistry, um, as well as biology or physiology. After leaving school, uh, you can branch off at a university or you can go to a, a technicon. At the university, you can study a Bachelor of Science degree, looking at uh, majoring in microbiology, biochemistry or chemistry as your, as your subjects. Or you can go to a technicon where you can study analytical chemistry, where you major in analytical chemistry or chemistry.